Hello everyone, my name is Gems Michelot and we're going to be doing a science experiment where we're going to be explaining the difference between energy transference and the connection between matter and energy. And you could reference this material on my website which contains a lot of educational materials for the scientific method. You could click on here which talks about the principles of the scientific me method, how it applies to this website. We have a link which goes directly to um, the scientific method and the steps it takes to do research when it comes to doing various experiments. And this experiment is a very interesting experiment because it doesn't involve um, materials. The only materials we really need to involve are is a human being. So I'm going to introduce my test subject right here. Say hello to everyone. How are we doing, guys? Okay, this is Garrett. And as you can see, Garrett is well suited for this experiment. Now, this experiment deals with the transference of energy. We know from previous lessons that matter and energy are the only two things that are in our universe. There is nothing else. The connection between matter and energy deals with that matter is anything that has mass and takes up space, and energy is any ability which allows matter to move. Now, in the theory of energy transference, we know that energy can never be destroyed. It can only change form. This experiment involves two particular types of energy kinetic energy, which is the energy of motion, and electrical energy, which is in the human body is what we use to stimulate electrical impulses in order to do the thought process in our brain. So what I'm going to have you do is extend your hand. And as you notice, this test subject is, works out a lot. So it should be very hard for me to be able to press down on his hand. And I'm going to try with all my force to bring his hand down, and we're going to see what's going to happen. And as I do this, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. I want you to be truthful in your answer. Okay. Question number one. What is your name? Garrett. Are you a male or female? Male. Are you wearing glasses? Yes. And what color is your shirt that you're wearing? Black and white. Okay, and I'm having a hard time bringing his hand down. Okay, we're going to stop. In order to maintain the force to keep his hand up, Garrett used kinetic energy to make sure that I was not able to press down on his hands. Now, we're going to see if we could transfer some of that kinetic energy into electrical energy. Not destroying the energy in his body, as you can well see, it would be hard to do that, but we could transfer some of the energy into something else. And let's see what happens in the second phase of our experiment. Please extend your hand, Garrett. I'm gonna ask you a series of questions. Again, and now I want you to be imaginative in terms of your answer. What that really means is I want him to lie. Are you a male or a female? Female. Are you wearing glasses? No. And how old are you? 30. And what is your name? Mike. Oh man, look at that. What happened? All the force that he had before, he lost it. And the reason that he lost the force was the kinetic energy that he used to keep his hand up was transferred to electrical energy in his brain because in order to um, tell the fibs that he did, he had to transfer some of his kinetic energy into electrical energy. So this proves that energy can never be destroyed. It can only change form. Thank you very much.